Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Rowe, and welcome back to another episode of Rowe Sports Bets. And today we have round two starting in the March Madness tournament, round of six, or round of thirty-two, my bad. And we have eight games we're going to be going over for today. Uh, but before we get into the video, before we recap what happened in yesterday's video. You guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. You can also follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter and at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. And uh, we also have a Discord chat if you guys want to join that. The link to that will be in the description of the video below as well as our merch. If you guys want to pick up some ESB merch, you guys can click the link in the description below. And we have uh, shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, masks, phone cases, and we're going to be adding more stuff later this month. So if you guys want to check that out, the link to that will be in the description of the video down below as well. And as always, give uh, me your best bet in the comment section below. Recap of yesterday, the last time we're going to have 15, 16 games. Uh, unfortunately, we lost one, Oregon and VCU. Oregon advances, VCU had COVID troubles which is very unfortunate for the Rams, but we did have Oregon in that match. So uh, we went 9-6 and six today. Uh, we had Colorado. They got the job done, minus 5.5. Uh, uh, UNCG plus 10.5 barely covers. They looked really good that game. They, they had a couple uh, times where they caught back up and made it close. Uh, Kansas, on the other hand, they barely lost it. They gave up a uh, layup, basically, at the end of the game to lose the cover, unfortunately. It happens like that. Uh, LSU, minus two. They took care of business versus St. Bonaventure. They just looked like the better team. Texas Southern covered. And they actually didn't look terrible against Michigan. Uh, they only lost by 16, covering that plus 25 and a half pretty comfortably. Uh, then we had uh, Creighton, minus seven and a half. Uh, they barely beat UC Santa Barbara. Uh, only beat them by one point. Iona, plus 16 and a half. They made that a closer game than it looked uh it finished at a 13 point game but they were leading for i believe they were leading at halftime or they're only down one at halftime and uh they covered up 16 and a half point spread uh usc they looked good uh they beat uh it was drake by uh 16 points took care of business there grand canyon only lost by 12 or they lost by 12 points covering the plus 14 and a half so the 15 seats uh, all covered, I believe, except for Cleveland State. Those are that was the only 15 seed that did not cover. Um, UConn minus three, that was embarrassing. They lost by nine. They didn't look good at all against Maryland. Virginia, talk about embarrassing though. They lost to uh, Ohio from the MAC, uh, 62 to 58. I liked Ohio in my bracket video, and then I looked over the numbers and I liked Virginia a little bit more today. And unfortunately, I was on the wrong side. Oklahoma, plus one, they cashed. Uh, they win 72-68. to 68. Uh, Norfolk State, geez, they lost by 43 points today. Did not cover the plus 33 and a half. I thought that was a lot of points. That was the most uh, on any spread for this tournament, and apparently it was rightfully so. Uh, BYU, that was an awful loss. They just couldn't stop UCLA scoring. And then to end the night, we hit a plus 345 underdog with Abilene Christian. And they get the win, and they cover the plus eight and a half. So we went uh, nine and six. We are eighteen and seventeen so far in the March Madness tournament. But let's get into today's games, uh, as we are starting with Loyola Chicago taking on Illinois. Seven and a half point spread minus three thirty five for Illinois, plus two eighty for Loyola Chicago. Illinois coming into this game twenty four and six. They knocked off Drexel in. The first round, Loyola Chicago coming in 25-4. and four. They knocked off 9-seed Georgia Tech in that first round matchup where Georgia Tech shot 60% and they still beat them by double digits because they couldn't get a single offensive rebound. But looking at this matchup, I just think Illinois is just way too much, uh, way too talented for this Loyola Chicago team. As much as I think that they can hang with this one, we're going with Illinois here, minus 7.5 points. I have them winning by 9.8 points. So we're getting a slight little bit of value here. So not my favorite play on the slate, but we're going with the number one seed to uh, survive, advance, and cover the spread. Minus seven and a half. Illinois over Loyola Chicago. 
Our next one we have here is Baylor taking on Wisconsin. Six and a half point spread. Minus 280 for Baylor, plus 235 for Wisconsin. Uh, Baylor coming in 23 and 2. Uh, they knocked off number 16, Hartford, in the first round. And they're going up against Wisconsin, who is 18 and 12 coming into this uh, game. They knocked off number 8 seed, North Carolina, and did it, did it in a very impressive fashion where they shot the ball really, really well. But looking at this one, I just think that this Baylor team is once again just too much for this Wisconsin team. We're going with the Baylor Bears, minus 6.5. I feel like this is going to be a, uh, it's not going to be too close of a game, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that Wisconsin's just going to be overmatched here. I have this as a 9.1 point game. So we're getting a little bit more value on this game than we are last game. So I like Baylor, minus 6.5. I feel like that's just not enough points. Next we have West Virginia taking on Syracuse. It's a 4 point spread, minus 185 for West Virginia, plus 165 for Syracuse. And uh, looking at this game, West Virginia comes in 19-9. and They knocked off Moorhead State in the first round to advance to this round, where they'll be taking on number 11 seed Syracuse, which is 17-9, and which upset San Diego State in the first round to make it where they are now. And uh, this game is going to be an interesting game. I have West Virginia winning this one by 8.2 points. Uh, I like them there. I'm probably going to bet their money line or parlay their money line with uh, the next game money line as well. But I like uh, West Virginia minus four versus Syracuse. Uh, Buddy Beheim looked really good in that first game, but I don't, I don't see that uh, three-point shooting by, from Beheim being able to continue to this next game. I think uh, West Virginia is able to knock off this pesky Syracuse uh, team. Next, we have Arkansas. Taking on Texas Tech, one and a half point spread, minus 125 for Texas Tech, plus 105 for Arkansas. And I was looking at this one, and I feel like this line was just wrong. Uh, I have Arkansas winning this game by 3.4 points. So we're going to be going with the plus uh, one and a half points. I like the plus 105. Parlaying that with West Virginia's minus 185 is probably something I'm going to do tomorrow. I, I like that line a, a lot. So we're going with Arkansas here, plus one and a half. Arkansas coming in 23-6. and six. They knocked off Colgate, uh, the number 14 seed in the first round. They're, uh, and then Texas Tech, they come into this game 18-10. and 10, And they knocked off 11 seed Utah State. So for this one, we're going with Arkansas plus 1.5 versus Texas Tech. Our next matchup, we have Rutgers taking on Houston. It's an 8-point spread, minus 385 for Houston, plus 315 for Rutgers. Rutgers coming in 16 and 11. They knocked off number seven, Clemson, in the first round. Um, and then they're going to be going up against the number two seed, Houston. Um, they were 25 and three in the American Athletic Cup, or 25 and three this season. And they knocked off number 15, Cleveland State, in the first round. They were the only number two seed to cover the spread. Uh, fun fact, in that first round. Uh, but for looking at this matchup, I feel like 8 points is just a little bit too much. I don't know what that's doing there. Uh, I feel like 8 points is a little much for uh, this Rutgers team. Now, I can say that, and Houston can easily blow them out by 15, because they're that type of team. But, I feel like this is one where I'm going to take Rutgers plus 8, and I'm going to take a stab here at that plus 315 price tag. Uh, they're one of my two teams that I'm going to be taking a money line stab on tomorrow. That are a decent size uh, dog. We're taking Rutgers here, plus ten or the plus eight and the plus three fifteen money line versus Houston. All right, three more games to go for the slate. We have Florida taking on Oral Roberts, eight and a half points spread uh, for this game, minus three eighty for Florida, plus three ten for Oral Roberts. Florida coming in fifteen and nine. They knocked off number ten seed Virginia Tech in the first round, in overtime. And they'll be taking on the Summit League champions. They went 17-10 and 10 on the season, and they knocked off number two, uh, Ohio State, in the biggest upset of the tournament so far. And uh, we're going to be going with uh, the plus points here. Oral Roberts 
This is, I think, my lowest value play on the slate on the uh, day. I have Florida winning this game by six point three points. This is not what I'm going to be betting the money line on. I'm going to be taking them plus the points, not plus three ten though. I think they can cover uh, the spread here against Florida, which it should be an interesting game. It's going to be cool to see a uh, set or fifteen play in the second round. Usually they don't go much further than that, so we're not betting the plus three ten. But we will take them plus eight and a half versus the Florida Gators. Next, we have North Texas, uh, the Mean Green taking on the Villanova Wildcats, five and a half point spread, minus two forty for Villanova, plus two hundred for North Texas. Here, North Texas coming in eighteen and nine. Uh, they are the Conference USA champions, and they knocked off Purdue in an upset, number four ranked Purdue in the first round. Villanova coming in seventeen and six. Uh, and they knocked off Winthrop in the first round. Uh, but looking at this game, I like this mean green team to keep it going. We're going plus five and a half. And I'm going to go upset alert here for Villanova. I think last round they were able to handle Winthrop without Connor Gillespie. But I don't know about this round. Uh, I feel like North Texas can exploit that a little bit. And I think they can get the job done. I have Villanova winning this by 2.1 points. But I mean plus 200. I really like that tag. So we're going with North Texas here. Uh, plus 5.5 and, and the plus the 200 money line against Villanova. And now we're going to be ending it here with Oklahoma State taking on Oregon State. Six point spread minus 250 for Oklahoma State. Plus 210 for Oregon State. Uh Oklahoma State coming in 21 and 8. They knocked off number 13 seed Liberty in the first round. Oregon State coming in 18 and 12. They knocked off the 5 seed Volunteers of Tennessee in the first round. And looking at this game, I'm going to go with Oklahoma State. I feel like this Oregon State, their miracle run, their little their little Cinderella run as they ran through the Pac-12 and knocked off Tennessee. I feel like it's going to come to an end tomorrow. I feel like they're going to run into a team that they just can't handle in Oklahoma State with the best uh, with the uh, best player in the nation right now with Cunningham. I like Oklahoma State here. I'm taking the Cowboys minus six to get the job done and get the win over Oregon State tomorrow. My top plays for tomorrow are Arkansas. They are Oklahoma State. And it is West Virginia. Those are my top three. Are Arkansas, Oklahoma State, and West Virginia. Our overall plays for tomorrow, we're taking Illinois, minus 7.5 versus Loyola Chicago. We're going Baylor, minus 6.5 versus Wisconsin. West Virginia, minus 4 versus Syracuse. Arkansas, plus 1.5 versus uh, Texas Tech. We're going upset number one, Rutgers, plus 8 and the plus 315 over Houston. We're going plus eight and a half for Oral Roberts uh, with Florida. We're going upset number two, plus five and a half, and plus 200 with North Texas, upsetting Villanova. And then we're finishing it off with a minus six, Oklahoma State over Oregon State. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at our sports bets. But that's going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in March, Man March Madness round number two tomorrow. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.